Is your vehicle in need of a quick oil change or tune-up before hitting the road this summer? Stop by Quick Lube and Tune, the home of the good guys at 610 South Wenatchee Avenue. It's time for NCW Life News on the NCW Life Channel. The latest from the Wenatchee Valley and North Central Washington with Steve Hare, Grant Olson, and Sports with Eric Granstrom. Good evening and welcome to NCW Life News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window and a little bit of everything out there today. It was definitely fall like out there with uh, some clouds and some showers. You can see in our sky cam uh, camera that we are seeing some scattered shower activity still lingering around the area. And as I mentioned, it felt like fall today with cool temperatures and even some windy conditions at times. But Let's take a look at our crystal ball to this weekend. Everybody wants to know about our weekend weather and it looks fantastic. We will see warmer temperatures, dry conditions. Our temperatures will climb back to about average with temperatures mainly in the mid 60s to mid 70s. And then early into mid next week, we will see temperatures in the mid to maybe even upper 70s. Your complete weather forecast coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. Campfire restrictions are lifted by several agencies. Several earthquakes rock Mount Rainier and an Ellensburg representative is elected to the Pension Policy Committee. Later on, we'll have sports, your weather forecast, and our feature story today. But first, a traffic accident about around 1 o'clock today snarled traffic for a time on North Wenatchee Avenue. We were unable to get additional information at news time, but it appears an injury may have also occurred in this accident. We will bring you more details of this afternoon's crash as they become available. Back to news. First up on the agenda at tonight's Wenatchee City Council meeting are the results of a regional housing survey conducted by Our Valley, Our Future, a local advocacy group. The group surveyed more than 1,700 people in July to address issues in the Wenatchee Valley housing market. A housing forum took place last night at Pibus Public Market, which included presentations, discussion, and a framework for future involvement in addressing the local housing market. At tonight's meeting, the Wenatchee City Council will also hear various written comments from citizens regarding the difficulty in finding affordable housing. The Wenatchee City Council meeting is tonight at 515. Make sure you join NCW Life Steve Hare tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley for highlights and results of that housing survey. Well, with rain and cooler temperatures coming to Washington, the Department of Natural Resources is now permitting campfires in designated campgrounds on DNR protected lands. The statewide burn ban instituted September 6th still prohibits all other outdoor burning. The U.S. Forest Service reports campfire restrictions have been reduced on the Chelan, Eniat, Wenatchee River, Cleelum, and Natchez Ranger districts. Campfires will uh, now be allowed, but only in designated campgrounds. Campfires are still prohibited district-wide on the Methow Valley and Tenasket Ranger districts. For a fuller description of activities prohibited by the burn man, Burn ban, rather, go to www.dnr.wa.gov slash burn dash restrictions. Mount Rainier's have been, uh, Rainier's been rocked by a series of small earthquakes over the past week, but seismologists say there's no need for concern. Paul Bowden with the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network says it's not unusual to see swarms of tremors lasting for a couple of days and then die out. The first of the 23 quakes struck on September 11th near the volcano's summit. The largest of the quakes registered a magnitude 1.6. Representative Matt Manweller of Ellensburg has been elected chair of the Select Committee on Pension Policy, or SCPP. Manweller has been a member of the SCPP for four years and chaired its first meeting on Tuesday. Manweller was a prime sponsor of House Bill 2202, which corrected a discrepancy in the law enforcement officers and firefighters pension system related to the eligibility of EMTs. The SCPP is made up of 20 members who study issues and policies affecting the state's public employee retirement systems. Coming up, a work party on the Peshastan Mill Trail honors a longtime advocate and St. Joe's hosts its 18th annual Harvest Festival this weekend. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching NCW Life News.
At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest Craft Beers and 30 Chelan Valley Wines and Ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. Stormy Mountain Brewing and Local Public House. Featuring great family dining in downtown Chelan. We've got burgers, pub fare, and the best barbecue around. Try one of our award-winning sauces made fresh here in-house. So grab the whole gang and come on down. Stormy Mountain Brewing. Beer, barbecue, friends, and beer. Having a relationship with your pediatrician is so important. Feeling that sense of trust, that is priceless. I tell everybody about CBCH. I love it there. When I make an appointment, I don't have to take an entire day off. As a working mom, my life is really busy. Family time is everything. That's what we all work towards. And I feel like CBCH respects that. Reed's Marine and Manson has your boating needs covered, offering the superior Regal lineup with options from 19 to 53 feet. With the Regal Express line, you have the freedom to explore with an innovative interior and the largest headroom in its class. Don't forget the roomy cockpit with seating to fit the whole family. From 26 to 32 feet, Reed's Marine has the Regal Express to fit your needs. View our current inventory at chelanboat.com or stop by our Manson showroom on beautiful Lake Chelan and see the entire Regal line. A work party is planned for this weekend on the new Preshaston Mill Trail. NCW Life's Steve Hare reports that Saturday's event is organized by the Central Washington Chapter of the Evergreen Mountain Bike Alliance. The group is partnering up with the Complete the Loop Coalition and the Chelan Douglas Land Trust to complete the work on the new trail. The Public Trails Group and Trout Unlimited of Leavenworth gifted the 14 acres of waterfront to fish and wildlife so that it would remain open to the public for fishing hiking and non-motorized use in perpetuity. Now, the group's raised over $450,000 in private donations to purchase the property from Bill and Jenny Goble of Leavenworth back in 2016. Now, the Goebbels had also purchased the other 50 acres of that 64-acre mill site back in 2015. This after the Port of Chelan County abandoned plans to develop a business park on that property. Meanwhile, the Goebbels have expressed interest in developing their part of the property into a wine production facility, an incubator for businesses in the arts, and a community recreation element, possibly ball fields as well. Organizers say the project is being done as a thank you to longtime trail advocate and visionary Bob Parlett for his many years of leadership. The work party is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday, includes a free shuttle from Arlberg Sports Parking Lot in Wenatchee at about 8.30 that morning. They're planning a barbecue. More details available on the group's Facebook page. Steve Hare, NCW Life News. St. Joseph's Church hosts the 18th Annual Harvest Festival this weekend in Wenatchee. It's a major fundraiser for the church and school, and according to organizers, it's an all-volunteer effort. The festival features music, food, games, and a beer garden, so there's something for everyone. The cool thing is I, I, yeah. I just am really excited about this, obviously, because you can stay, the parents can stay, listen to the music, mm -hmm. whatever, and have some beers, and the kids just free range. And it's yeah. in a safe environment, super mm -hmm. safe. I mean, mm -hmm. 18 years, it's just everybody sticks around, and there's parents, you know, when you take that, common used phrase it takes a village mm -hmm. this is that yeah. village like truly so because the kids are just having fun yeah <laughs> the harvest festival is an all-day event starting at 10 a.m. this Saturday on the school grounds admission is free although wristbands for kids games and inflatables are $18 but it's half off the price if you bring a non-perishable food donation you're watching NCW Life News. Coming up next, your sports update, followed by today's feature story. That and much more still to come on NCW Life News. Stay with us. Every golfer aims to play their best, and smart golfers turn to the golfer's edge to get the golfer's edge. 
PGA professional Ed Payne has you covered from tee to green. You can work on your swing or play 18 in air conditioned comfort on the golf simulator. Tanya's Corner has all the apparel the golfer needs at sale prices. And Ed can even rebuild your favorite set of clubs or custom make you a brand new set. Ask how you can qualify for a free 30-minute lesson at the Golfer's Edge on mission between Kittitas and Yakima. Is this really what we're going to do on our girls' night out? We should go to Club Crow. The bar and grill in Cashmere? Yeah, let's go. Looking for a fun-filled, friendly hometown atmosphere? Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere is the place to be. Hi, this is Justin. Here at Club Crow, we have full bar and restaurant, live music, a dance floor, pool tables, pull tabs, and live jam sessions the first Sunday of every month. Club Crow in Cashmere, the coolest place in town. Doghouse Motorsports, we ride what we sell. There's a lot we could say about the CD Spark and the CD GTI, but ultimately, the ride says it all. Pets are not your whole life, but they do make your life whole. At Paws and Claws Veterinary Hospital, not only do they understand that fact, they live it every day. Dr. Baez and her staff at Paws and Claws love dogs and cats so much they've dedicated their lives to the well-being of our four-legged friends. They offer compassionate care with a personal touch. Paws and Claws Veterinary Hospital on the corner of 4th and Nile in East Wenatchee or call 888-PAWS. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a good Thursday on the prep schedule for today. A lot going on, as a matter of fact. Cashmere takes its unblemished record on the road at OMAC. The uh, Bulldogs at 3 0 on the season. The uh, Bulldogs from the North, or the Pioneers, I should say, are 0 3 1. Uh, that game in OMAC here this afternoon. Meanwhile, Brands, uh, Manson's at Brewster, Okanagan at Cascade. The Kodiaks also 4 0 on the season. Eastmont uh, Wildcats are on the road at West Valley to take on the Rams. Both of those teams off to good starts. The Wildcats 2-1, West Valley at 3-1. Meanwhile, the Wenatchee Panthers are taking on Sunnyside tonight. Panthers 3-2 on the season, while the Grizzlies are 0-3. Meanwhile, in volleyball, Cashmere looking for its first win on the road at OMAC. Okanagan travels to uh, the uh, Leavenworth to take on the Cascade Kodiaks. They are perfect on the season at 5-0. Meanwhile, Manson is at Bridgeport tonight. Waterville Mansfield is at Soap Lake. West Valley's at Eastmont. We'll have the NCW Life cameras there for that one and get you that on a uh, tape delay uh, basis. And then Sunnyside at Wenatchee tonight, uh, the Panthers 3-1 and one on the season. Also, the uh, Columbia Basin Big Nine in cross country is all at West Valley today for a big meet. Also, tonight begins our first Thursday night hockey night on the NCW Life channel. I'll get turned away at 7 o'clock with a call of the wild where Arch Ecker sits down with uh, coach and general manager Bliss Littler to talk about last week's games and upcoming opponents. It's followed by the wild taking on Vernon from last Saturday at the Town Toyota Center. Uh, that tonight, hockey night right here on the NCW Life channel. Well, rough Ned Odor hit a grand slam home run in the Texas 7-run fourth inning. The Rangers went on for an 8-6 win over the Mariners last night at Safeco Field. Felix Hernandez making his second start since coming off the disabled list was roughed up for six runs in an, a third, three and a third innings to take the loss. Seattle also committed two fielding errors and a base running error that proved costly, something manager Scott Service was not pleased about. You know, unfortunately, the fourth inning, you know, that was the you know, that unraveled and, you know, just kind of starts with the walks and, you know, we didn't make a couple of errors in that inning. And then, uh, you know, the, the big mistake pitched to Odor. Uh, that dug us a, a really big hole. Um, our guys kept fighting. Uh, no, you know, proud of our group there. Um, they kind of know what we're up against at that point in the game, and we did not quit. You know, even until the last out was made. You know, we had a lot of swings. Uh, you know, the guys on base bases loaded a couple innings and didn't really bust. You know, bust through with a big knock there. But uh, you know, we, we hang in. We hung in there. Uh, just the, the hole was so deep, we just couldn't overcome it. You know, um, frustrating. Uh, I think is the best way to put it. Um, you get off to a good start in that game. Felix is cruising along. I don't think anybody really squares him up. You know, first time through the order, and you're thinking, yeah, you know, we're probably going to be okay to get five innings out of him. 
that just just didn't happen tonight. That was the plan going in, and unfortunately we couldn't get there. They put the big number up in the fourth inning. Seattle kept pecking away at the deficit with home runs by Mitch Hanniger and Nelson Cruz, but just couldn't make up the, for that Rangers crooked number in the fourth. With only 10 games remaining in the season and the Mariners' chances of making the playoffs getting slimmer, service said the M's are making it more difficult by losing five in a row. They hurt. There's no question about it. Uh, it definitely hurts. I think everybody feels it uh, in our clubhouse. Uh, we got to play better baseball. You know, that's the ultimate. You're not going to the playoffs. You continue to make errors and, and you know don't execute in crucial situations or make pitches. That's just just where we're at. That's the reality of it. Uh, our guys know that. Uh, it's not like they're not trying hard, but you know we got to continue to compete. And, you know, we got to make a little bit better decisions and execute better. You know, that's where we're at. Seattle and Texas wrap up that three-game series tonight. James Paxton on the mound for Seattle. Cole Hamels will go for the Rangers. In the American League wildcard race, Seattle missed another chance to edge closer as we check the Les Schwab scoreboard. New York basically cemented itself at least a wildcard spot with its third consecutive win and 11-3 shellacking Minnesota. Angels were also losers, 6-5 to Cleveland, so the Angels remain a game and a half back of the Twins. Texas's win over Seattle edged the Rangers within two and a half of the second wildcard spot, while Seattle remains four games out with only 10 games left. That's sports. I'm Eric Granstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Grant, back to you. Thanks, Eric. Today is the last day of summer, and for all of us that have grass yards, it's time to get out there and get ready for the fall and winter seasons. Bonnie Orr, host, host of Green Thumbs and Dirty Knees, gives us a few pointers on how to prepare our yards for the off-season. Well, the first of all, you need to cut back on the water. Okay. Okay, if you've been watering for that 90-degree heat, it is time, because everything does want to become dormant. Okay, so cut back on the watering. And the other thing that you can um, do, you can either thatch or aerate right now, and especially if you've skipped that last uh, spring, you can still do it now, and uh, the ground's still warm enough. I, I like the idea of aerating and then putting an inch of compost over the, the lawn and then raking it in into all the little holes, and it'll help renew some of the nutrients in your soil. Or also says if you plan to fertilize your lawn in the fall, do it now and leave the grass about two inches in height before the first frost or snow. She also adds that if you're going to plant trees or shrubs, don't wait until next spring because now is the perfect time. This is the best time of year to plant a tree uh, because it doesn't have to fight with the heat in June. There's, the leaves don't desiccate because there are no leaves. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, it makes it really easy. Sure. And there's, the, until the ground gets 40, roots grow rapidly, but the roots continue to grow. The important thing is never add any other soil besides the native soil. Wash off all the roots of that tree or shrub, put it into your soil, make sure it is the right height where the trunk is not covered, because mm -hmm. that is the number one cause of tree death, is too deep, too deep of planting. We'll be back in just a moment with a recap of some of today's stories and your complete local weather forecast right after this. Lake Chelan mailboxes find solutions and the best price for all your shipping needs, including UPS, FedEx, and the U.S. Postal Service. We offer a variety of services including quality copies of all sizes, faxing, scanning, sending and receiving email, laminating, and notarizing. Enjoy browsing through our large selection of greeting cards. Lake Chelan Mailboxes supports our military, fire victims, and our community. Come see us at the Plaza in Lake Chelan. Hey folks, Carrie from Blueberry Hills in Manson. It's blueberry picking season and King 5 named us the second best destination restaurant in Washington State. So toss the family in the cruiser and get on out to Blueberry Hills for the best down home scratch country cooking you've had in years. And don't forget our award winning pies. We're fun, family friendly and a delicious destination year round. We're open every day from 8 to 3, serving breakfast and lunch all day. So come on out to Blueberry Hills. If you are looking for dependable car service and repair, visit the good guys at Quick Lube and Tune. They've been keeping cars and trucks in the Wenatchee Valley running smooth for 35 years. Quick Lube and Tune is your hometown shop for a 10-minute oil change, complete tune-ups, alignments, brakes, mufflers, air conditioning service, and more. Get more life out of your vehicle by bringing it to the local guys you can trust at Quick Lube and Tune on South Wenatchee Avenue. No matter 
what your age or ailment, when you wake up each day with a sense of purpose, life has meaning and joy. And just wait a while, it'll get in the hole somewhere. <laughs> Helping you do this is our purpose. Highgate Senior Living, each day to the fullest. The best thing about my life right now is me. <laughs> Welcome back, and now a recap of some of our top stories. First up on the agenda at tonight's Wenatchee City Council meeting are the results of a regional housing survey conducted by Our Valley, Our Future, a local advocacy group. The group surveyed more than 1,700 people in July to address issues in the Wenatchee Valley housing market. A housing forum took place last night at Pibus Public Market, which included presentations, discussion, and a framework for future involvement in addressing the local housing market. At tonight's meeting, the Wenatchee City Council will also hear various written comments from citizens regarding the difficulty in finding affordable housing. The Wenatchee City Council meeting is tonight at 515. Join NCW Life Steve Hare tomorrow morning at 7 on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley for highlights and result, results rather, of the housing survey. A work party is planned for this weekend on the new Peshastan Mill Trail. NCW Life Steve Hare reports that Saturday's event is organized by the Central Washington chapter of the Evergreen Mountain Bike Alliance. The group is partnering up with the Complete the Loop Coalition and the Chelan Douglas Land Trust to complete the work on the new trail. The Public Trails Group and Trout Unlimited of Leavenworth gifted the 14 acres of waterfront to fish and wildlife so that it would remain open to the public for fishing, hiking, and non-motorized use in perpetuity. Now, the group's raised over $450,000 in private donations to purchase the property from Bill and Jenny Goebel of Leavenworth back in 2016. Now, the Goebels had also purchased the other 50 acres of that 64-acre mill site back in 2015. This after the Port of Chelan County abandoned plans to develop a business park on that property. Meanwhile, the Goebbels have expressed interest in developing their part of the property into a wine production facility, an incubator for businesses in the arts, and a community recreation element, possibly ball fields as well. Organizers say the project is being done as a thank you to longtime trail advocate and visionary Bob Parlett for his many years of leadership. The work party is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday, includes a free shuttle from Arlberg Sports Parking Lot in Wenatchee at about 8.30 that morning. They're planning a barbecue. More details available on the group's Facebook page. Steve Hare, NCW Life News. Thank you, Steve. Mount Rainier has been rocked by a series of small earthquakes over the past week, but seismologists say there's no need for concern. Paul Bowden with the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network says it's not unusual to see swarms of tremors lasting for a couple of days and then die out. The first of the 23 quakes struck on September 11th near the volcano's summit. The largest of the quake registered a magnitude 1.6. St. Joseph's Church hosts the 18th annual Harvest Festival this weekend in Wenatchee. It's a major fundraiser for the church and school, and according to organizers, it's an all-volunteer effort. The festival features music, food, games, and a beer garden, so there's something for everyone. The cool Absolutely. thing is I, I, yeah. I just am really excited about this, obviously, because you can stay, the parents can stay, listen to the music, mm -hmm. whatever, and have some beers, and the kids just, just free around. range. And it's yeah. in a safe environment, super mm -hmm. safe. I mean, mm -hmm. 18 years it's just everybody sticks around and there's parents you know when you take that common used phrase it takes a village mm -hmm. this is that village yeah. like truly so because the kids are just having fun yeah <laughs> the harvest festival is an all-day event starting at 10 a.m this saturday on the school grounds admission is free although wristbands for kids games and inflatables are 18 dollars but it's half off the price if you bring a non-perishable food donation. And now your weather forecast for North Central Washington. Before we get to those details, let's take another look outside our weather window. And a kind of a mixed bag today. You can see some raindrops now on our camera. And we did see some passing scattered showers throughout North Central Washington today. Temperatures still much below normal. Keep in mind, our normal high temperature for this time of year 
is right around 75 degrees and we weren't close to that. Uh, the winds will die down, our clouds will clear out and we should get much, much nicer. Today we're going to use our water vapor image instead of our satellite loop. You can see the big U-shaped trough that's digging down into the uh, western United States. Currently, our, our uh, water vapor shows the main low center is over the Canadian prairies with its trough axis stretching back across western Montana, southeast Washington, and into central Oregon. The scattered showers we saw in some locations today and still are seeing, they're expected to dissipate tonight. Temperatures will cool into the 30s and mid-40s overnight, and some patchy frost is possible in some higher elevation cold spots. No major changes to the extended forecast as the upper low will slowly move east of the area Friday night and Saturday. Meanwhile, you can see the ridge building in the western Pacific. That will nose into western Washington, which will set up a mainly dry, warm, northerly flow over the inland northwest. On Sunday and into early next week, that high-pressure ridge will slowly slide east of the Cascades. Uh, temperatures will warm about 2 to 3 degrees each day with high temperatures finally making it back to the lower to mid 70s by Wednesday and Thursday, which is right at seasonal highs for this time of year. Let's take a look at that forecast now and tonight we'll see another cool one. Low temperatures mainly in the mid 40s, 46 for us here in Wenatchee with mostly cloudy skies. Almost 70 as we end our work week tomorrow in 69 degrees. And then look at that beautiful stretch of weather beginning on Saturday. Sunshine in 71. More sun on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 73 Sunday. 74, which will be our normal high by Monday. And then actually above normal high temperatures on Tuesday, Wednesday, when we'll see 76 and 77 degrees. So enjoy the beautiful weather to come. Our kicker video tonight comes from the Oregon Zoo, where we see a polar bear frolicking and staying cool on a sunny day. you have a video of the day you'd like to see on NCW Life News, message us on our Facebook page at the NCW Life channel. And if you have a video, of the, as we mentioned, if you have a video of the day, please send it in to us. Uh, we are taking those videos at the NCW Life channel, as we just mentioned. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-NCWL. That's 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. This has been NCW Life News on the NCW Life channel. For more news, log on to ncwlife.com, like us on Facebook, and follow NCW Life channel on Twitter. I gotta tell you, I'm nervous. Selling your home, it's a big step. Can we find the right buyer in this market? Look at our website. 
When someone looks at your home, I can tell how ready they are to buy. See that number? The closer.